Sees gold prices averaging around $2,175 an ounce by the fourth quarter of 2024. That's basically one year from now. J.P. Morgan is calling for record gold next year. What's that going to do to the price of silver? Yes, that J.P. Morgan, right? The biggest, the respected, not necessarily by us, but by a lot of people in the financial community. Financial services firm is calling for record gold. We know what that'll do for silver, but why? What is their thesis for what's going on? We're going to cover that in this video. We're going to talk about why J.P. Morgan is saying that in 2024, we will break out to a new high gold level. And hey, I'm a firm believer that once we get the new record highs in gold, silver is going to follow. But once gold breaks above into that record territory, $2,100, $2,150, per ounce, it's going to be a quick rocket ship ride up to 2600 There's been so much pent-up demand. And once we break through that resistance, right, once that cup and handle pattern completes, guys, we're going to go from 2100 to 2600 very quickly. JP Morgan sees record gold, and we know what that'll do for silver next year. If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pimbex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's basement. What they see coming is not good in the economy. And if JP Morgan's saying it, Bank of America is saying it, but I want to revisit quickly double line capital and, and our friend Jeffrey Gunlock is like the guru. I'm telling you, watch a couple. There's not a lot out there. You got to dig, but watch a couple interviews with Jeffrey Gunlock and you'll come away with a new appreciation. You want to know what his firm is saying right now? Again, another one from Yahoo. No, Bloomberg. Bloomberg says, headline, deep recession to force full percentage point. That's one full point. Fed cut, double line warns. It's a bold call based on weakening economic data that makes a recession probable next year, said Sherman. He's the chief investment officer. Coming, even as the Fed's expected to rate, uh, rate, raise rates, which they did, money markets are saying there's going to be a 1.3% cut next year. Sherman thinks policymakers will, will end up being slow to act and then have to unleash the biggest cut since the pandemic. Here's a quote. Okay, listen to this. Perk up. This is, this is, this is a, a gold nugget here. A multitude of economic indicators we look at are flashing either warning or recession signals. Warning or recession signals, said Sherman. Deputy Chief Investment Officer at Asset Manager Double Line. By the time they cut, it'll have to be 100 basis points. So I want you to think about this, this double line. Let me tell you, they manage $76 billion in assets. Okay, do you think they know what they're talking about? What do you think? Are we going to trust what double line says? <laughs> I feel I, the very ironic. Are we going to trust what JP Morgan says? Maybe not. Nonetheless, our, we'll trust double line and we'll partially trust JP Morgan. They're saying recession. Or are we going to trust our government officials? Are we going to trust double line or our government? JP Morgan, Chase. Okay. Yes, that JP Morgan that's been convicted of manipulating the gold and silver price. Well, now they see the gold price at record highs in 12 to 18 months. Interesting. Growing expectations that the Federal Reserve is close to ending its latest tightening cycle and the threat of an impending recession will continue to support gold and silver prices, according to the last comments from J.P. Morgan Chase. This Greg Shear, he's the exec executive director of Global Commodities Research, said that he expects the Federal Reserve 
to start cutting interest rates by the second quarter of 2024. Again, this is J.P. Morgan Chase. And that falling real U.S. yields will be a significant driver for gold. According to J.P. Morgan's mid-year forecast, analysts are looking for gold prices to average the second half of the year. Okay, that's this year to average around $2,012 per ounce. Let that sink in. J.P. Morgan is telling us that over the next five months, we could have the gold price averaging, averaging 2012. What will that mean for the silver price? Buddy Rumble, the Louisiana gold guru, who I'm going to be talking to Monday, he's talked about $30 silver by January. Mr. Shearer. That's Greg Shearer, Executive Director of Global Commodity Research at J.P. Morgan, said in his latest note, this is interesting. You want to hear about 2024, what they're saying? In, 2020, in his latest note, sees gold prices averaging around $2,175 an ounce by the fourth quarter of 2024. That's basically one year from now. With further upside risk, okay, that means it can go higher. If the U.S. economy does fall into a recession, Mr. Scheer, we have a question for you, right? What do you guys think would happen if we, what if we fell into a really bad depression? Oh, I'm sorry, recession. I said the D word. I can't say that. We found a really, really bad recession, right? And maybe even the D word, a depression, and things get real bad. What do you think would happen to the silver price? What do you think would happen to the gold price? It can get very, very interesting. Sharon noted that the deeper the recession is, the more aggressive the Federal Reserve will have to be in cutting interest rates, which would be supportive of gold. So we've got this guru from J.P. Morgan Chase. I respect much more the guys at Double Line. Nonetheless, they do agree that we are heading for really challenging economic times. And we have our government, Joe Biden, right? Oh, good old Uncle, Uncle Joe telling us this morning, don't worry, be happy. He's growing at 2.4%. At, uh, at you know, what are you worried about? You have nothing at all to worry about. What do you think, guys? What do you think on this? Here he says a quote, we're in a very prime place, a very prime place where we think gold ownership and long allocation to gold and silver is something that acts as both a late cycle diversifier and something that will perform as we look to the next 12 to 18 months. Wow. I don't know, guys. What do you, what do you think about this? Let me know. I'm seeing $2,600 gold. I hope I see you soon. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. Have a great day. All right, you're the best. Thank you.